Hi, this is Lee Ellis with another session of Leading with Honor Coaching. Well, it's always good to talk about leadership. In fact, that's what we talk about most of the time. I wanted you to think about influence. You know, I've been thinking a lot about influence. It's come up a lot lately in conversations and readings that I've done. Influence is so important for a leader. There are many aspects of leadership, but without influence, how are you ever going to really be a great leader? I don't think you can. We all have the opportunity to influence, and I think it's important to understand what the most important piece of our influence is. It's a simple four-letter word. It's a word that we all know. It's probably one of the most powerful words in the whole universe. It's L-O-V-E. Now, love. Your first thing come to your mind may be romance. I mean, it is February, and it is Valentine's Day coming up shortly, all right? In fact, that's why I wore red today. I wore the red to kind of remind us of Valentine's, and I think we can use that as a reminder to improve our leadership. Let me tell you how. Well, in studying over the years about leadership and our brains and neuroscience, one of the things I realized is that the more we feel valued and important, which are really kind of parts of love, like little rays of love, when we feel valued and important, our performance goes up. We have more confidence. We want to be more loyal to our leader who's believing in us. It is so powerful, but it's not easy for many of us. 40% of the population is not naturally wired to be relationship and feelings oriented. And so for those folks, you have to learn to act your way into a new way of feeling. Actually, for leaders, it's probably more like 50 or 60% of leaders are more task-focused, results-oriented, mission-focused. And so that learning to adapt is how you are able to grow as a leader, and especially in this area here, because it may not be so natural. I want you to stop and think about the leader who's helped you the most in life, some of those important leaders who spoke into your life and helped you along the way. And I think what you're going to see is they believed in you, they, were, they valued you, they encouraged you, they thought you were somebody, and that lifted you up, and you performed better, and you are who you are today because of those people who believed in you. Think about it. I know I think about this a lot. I actually do an exercise in workshops where I ask the people around the table to remember that person who spoke into their life and how it made a difference. And then they share, and those stories are so powerful. Well, as we walk into February and Valentine's Day and love, uh, that word may be a little bit uncomfortable for some of you. So in our book, in our Courageous Accountability book, and our online course, we call it connecting with the heart. When you connect with the heart, that means it's another term, a way of saying, to show them love. So connect with the heart. I want you to first of all, think of that person who connected with your heart and how it made a difference. And what did they do in, the, in that case? Secondly, I want you to consider your own behaviors. What do you do that connects with people's hearts? Do you smile? Do you give encouraging words? Do you give feedback? Do you let them know that they're important, that you believe in them? Put yourself to the test. Analyze yourself. Sit down and reflect on this. Sit down and just reflect. I can't tell you how important it is for leaders to sit down and reflect on their own behaviors and the responses as well as others. So once you've reflected, I want you to come up with a plan of how you can go out and connect with people's hearts more at work. But then I want you to also use that Valentine card to remind you how to do it at home. Come up with some ways, two or three ways, that you can connect with your loves uh, and let them know, love's heart that is, and let them know that they're special, that you believe in them, that they really are important. And then see what happens. I bet you're going to see a more positive impact in your influence. And the same thing will happen at work. Well, I'm working at it a lot, especially during COVID. It's been a good time to work on giving more positive feedback and encouragement to those at home. 
but also at work. Give it a go. And also be sure to read our blog this month and check it out because I go into a little bit more detail on this and I think you'll see it's helpful. Take care and God bless.